This most dangerous airport is located on an 800 meter cliff and every takeoff and landing is terrifying. This kind of airport has high technical requirements for pilots and the slightest mistake will fall off a cliff. It is China's first and most challenging airport, which blew up 70 peaks when it was built and took eight years to build. The airport, along with Nepal's little airport, is one of the most dangerous airports in the world. So China's land area is so large, why build this airport on a cliff? The airport called Jinchangjiang Airport is a new comprehend safe airport in China, which can be used as both a military airport and a civilian airport and a civilian airport. The airport is located at the junction of China's Guangxi and Guayanya provinces, only 450 kilometers from neighboring Vietnam. This is the highest airport in Wan Chai A, and it is also a 4 c level China regional airport. Guangzhou is a relatively famous tourist city in China with many famous scenery, such as the world-famous Geelang landscape as well as golden rice terraces, constitute a beautiful landscape. There are also scenic spots such as Renshaw Yuan Scenic Spot, which is like a paradise in Bama Chunshou village known as Little Hong Kong before the outbreak of the new crown epidemic. At least one million foreign tourists traveled locally every year, but because the area belongs to the mountainous area, the geography is very remote and the transportation is inconvenient. So people usually take a long time and change several trains to get there. In this case, in order to vigorously develop tourism, it is very necessary to build an airport. Construction of the airport began in 2010 and it finally began operations in August 2018. The airport terminal area is only 4,621 square meters. The length of the runway is 2,200 meters and the apron area is 14,400 meters and the apron area is 14,400 square meters. Beijing's Daxing International Airport. The construction difficulty is rare in the world, but it took China only four years to build. However, Jinchangjiang Airport is a small airport and it takes eight years to construct. It can be seen that the difficulty of its construction is beyond your imagination. So what difficulties did the engineering team face when building this airport? China wants to build an airport here to develop its economy, but the terrain here is very complex. The basins in this area are mixed in size. The mountains are mostly arc-shaped and the hills are intertwined. In this case, it is necessary to find a suitable area for building the airport. The wide flats are tough. It's very difficult to find a flat land to build an airport here. So the goal has changed from finding a flat place to finding a suitable hilltop later. These peaks entered the site of the engineering team building an airport in this area, can not only develop the economy of Guangxi province, but also radiate to some counties and cities in the neighboring Guizhou province. The construction benefits are extremely high, and it is the best place to build an airport. In addition, the lower rock of Tangshan is relatively hard with less karst caves and groundwater, which meets the necessary conditions for building an airport. After the survey evaluation and many comparisons by relevant experts, it was finally decided to build the airport here. The airport land is on the top of the mountain, which makes construction very difficult. First, a flat land must be built on the top of the mountain. These mountains are of different sizes and the peaks are uneven. The construction team must first tidy the mountains and then fill in the ravines between the mountains. According to the data, the highest mountain among these dozens of peaks will be cut off by 87 meters. And the deepest ravine that needs to be filled between the mountains is 126 meters. Among them, there are a total of 23 ravines with different lengths and depths. Two-thirds of the area of the site is filled, and the average full height is 35 meters. Although these figures seem simple in the actual construction process, the construction team has to make great efforts. The construction team decided to fill the ditches between the mountains with the tops blasted with explosives. So 80 of the land of the airport was filled manually. At the same time, it is also a cliffside airport. There is only one airport built by splitting mountains in China. When the airport was built, its crisis level shocked the world because the airport runway is very narrow with a width of only 45 meters. It is one of the narrowest airport runways in the world. Looking down from the air, the airport is surrounded by 300 meter high cliffs and ravines. Some passengers believe that it looks like an aircraft carrier parked at sea, also known as road to the sky. After construction was completed, new dangers arose at the airport because the airport only has a short runway of 2,200 meters. The shorter the runway, the higher the technical requirements for the pilot of the aircraft. Moreover, affected by the special local terrain, the aircraft often encounters airflow disturbance. The mountains in Wan Chai are foggy. The weather conditions are also very challenging. The weather forecast is very good, 
when preparing to land. But the second half to half of the sky, the fog below makes... The pilots may have some psychological stress before landing. In addition, some time ago, a Chinese plane carrying 132 people passed by the area and crashed from an altitude of 8,000 meters within two minutes. It is believed that there may be a magnetic field nearby or it may be related to the changing weather. So this area is a huge test for pilots in order to solve this problem. The airport was also equipped with double captains on the first voyage, but it is no longer a problem because pilots are strictly selected and trained before taking office. At the same time, the airport will also conduct multiple trainings for the crew, according to specific situations. Therefore, both technical and psychological problems can be overcome before the construction of the airport. There were no roads in the vicinity leading to the outside world. For this reason, at the same time as the construction of the airport, China built several expressways in the surrounding area, which means that three-dimensional tourism of roads, railways, and civil aviation has truly been built in the local area traffic network. It marks the formation of a modern three-dimensional transportation network of water, land, air, and iron in the local area. It has greatly driven the economic development of the radiation area and will surely give wings to the economic development of this area. However, due to the relatively remote location of the airport and the major test of the new crown epidemic after its completion, local tourists said decreased by 80. Therefore, although the airport has only four routes, the number of passengers is still small, and it is still in a state of loss because of the small number of passengers. Even the airport sometimes does not fly on time. The passenger in the airport need to negotiate the departure time of the plane. It is understood that when there are many passengers, the airport runs every day, and when there are few people, it may be weekly or even monthly. So it is also called the most capricious airport by passengers in 1X's 2021 airport passenger throughput rankings. The airport ranks last and now has an annual throughput of only 13,000 people based on an average of 365 days a year. The airport, which sends about 35 passengers a day, is still at a profit and loss. And many people believe that China's construction of the airport is a risk and that it may never be profitable. But China has always believed that economic development can only be slowed down if the road is repaired first. There are hundreds of thousands of people living here, and there are countless beautiful scenery here. With the airport, it becomes more convenient for locals to go out and foreigners to come here. It is only temporarily affected by the new crown epidemic and the number of tourists is not ideal. However, with the opening of China's policy in November this year, I believe that China's tourism industry will recover and more people from home and abroad will come to travel here. By then, the airport will become an important means of transportation in the region. At the same time, the airport is relatively close to Vietnam and can be used as a military airport. So the airport plays a very important role in China's border security.